Within only a matter of few weeks, the landscape has changed. Green becomes shades of yellows and burns orange. Fallen leaves collect to form a blanket of frustration. Undeservedly lost golf balls determine an unjust punishment. Autumn is the start of the end for many golfers. It only gets worse from here on in. But for now, I will embrace the dewy grass, the mud collected on my shoes, my visible breath in the colder air. Woolly hats, thermals, waterproofs and snoods are all at the ready. The hip flask is readied for what lies ahead. Winter is coming, but it's not here yet. In fact, it's bloody lovely, so stop whining and get on the first tee. Well, the trip started early, as most do, with a stop off for coffee. Starbucks is the go-to. Now, it's at this point that you post a comment, something like support the independents, ignoring the fact I'm driving down the motorway or the highway, as my American friends would say. You see, I'm multilingual, dude. But I need more than coffee. Next stop is the Golden Arches for a breakfast fit for kings. So I've taken a short trip down to a little nine hole golf course called Betsy Coed. It sits in a valley in Snowdonia and it is quite literally one of my favorite places to visit. So whilst I'm going to show you around this uh, pretty little nine-hole golf course, we're also going to ask the question or answer the question that's asked more than any other in recent weeks. And that is short at driver shaft or simply choke down. I still can't, um, well, I, I refuse to accept that a shorter shaft isn't an absolute result for most average golfers. It's just a control element, it's as simple as that. You've got enough or little off, so at this moment I've got 10 and a half degree drive ahead on a 44 inch shaft. And the combination of the two means the ball is traveling plenty far enough, but I've got the control to set the ball up, aim exactly where I want, and feel like I understand where that club head is throughout the whole of the swing. So at this stage, I'm just playing shorter shaft, um, regular driver head. Then I'm gonna switch up and I'm gonna play the longest shaft and just see longest shaft, but then choke down and see if we achieve the same results. The one word I always use uh, when I come down here, or springs to mind at least, and that's idyllic. I don't know whether that's down to limited vocabulary or just uh, pretty much how I'd always describe Betsy Coed. Both the town and, uh, and the golf course because it's just a, it's really pretty. Incredible backdrop and just a lovely place. It's my type of place, nine holes, love it. It's great to see a ball come down with those trees in the backdrop as well. I absolutely love that. I had a great few comments on the video the other week where people complaining they could hear me breathing too loudly. I 
turn ball. So what I'm practicing doing them is uh, just stopping breathing when I'm recording any audio to camera. I kind of officially apologise. Right, let's move on to part two of the experiment. So people keep asking in the comments whenever I do a, um, a video suggesting a shorter shaft is the option is they say why not just choke down on a regular driver shaft. And yeah, in theory, that seems perfectly plausible. My own thought process is that it's not something I particularly like to do. In other words, I don't feel comfortable doing it. But that's not to say that it's not um, perfectly normal for you to do, and that's exactly the same results. So I'm going to try it, swap into a full length shaft. We'll choke down maybe an inch or two almost, and just see if I get the same control element. Because for me, this has got nothing to do with yardage. It's all about control and making sure we find fairway. So let's see if that happens. A really controlled ball flight. Probably took two inches off the shaft length. And on the first shot, quite impressed. Now one thing you've got to know about whales at any time of the year is that the season can change pretty quickly. We were looking at our absolutely stunning autumnal day and now it looks like rain. It changes very, very quickly. That's definitely drive of the day and at the end of the day choking down is clearly something that, um, well it, it's working, it's working really well. It just further backs up that control element and I feel like Tommy Fleetwood with the swing at the moment he seems to choke down on virtually every club he plays but I love the control element that it's given me and that one there just to be able to you know shape the shot as well it really does work opportunity down in the comment section two things really try and hit that like button if you have indeed liked the video because it's something i never ask and it makes a massive difference to the performance of the video but secondly get involved in the comment section which is the element i love are you using a shorter driver shaft or are you indeed choking down and is it helping in any way and would you advise your fellow golfers to try the same i'm convinced it's the way forward for most of us Yeah, love it. Stood on here with the short shaft and uh, we were filming into the sun this morning but pretty much hit an identical shot. Same ball flight, same sort of distance. I think this experiment is over. You can clearly play choking down on a driver shaft. I think for me personally, it takes a little bit of getting used to. I'm not overly comfortable with it. I would prefer to just have the regular shaft and sort of feel the butt end of the club in where it's supposed to be. It does feel a little bit narrow down here grip wise, but that's just a personal preference. And one thing that was mentioned, that Hannah mentioned off camera was that it's certainly a way of um, testing the water before you went into a shorter shaft, seeing if the idea works for you. And then maybe it's something you would like to do, but 100% it's the uh, same results. It does what it says on the tin, it's control. So you may have noticed, Betsy Code Golf Club is very quiet. Uh, I think we've seen two people here since we've been here from earlier on this morning. And uh, it really is kind of almost like, not that it's my business, but it worries me that little golf courses like this, how do they survive? You've got green staff here who are keeping this place nice and tidy, but uh, I don't know, it must work. 
but every time I come down here it just seems so so quiet which I love but you do worry for the golf course in the long term oh, I just overdid it just overdid it oh, it's probably worked but still ability to turn that over that's the last drive of the day because um, I'm pretty much satisfied I did it a better drive on this hole but again that was down to my uh, my own quality of swing which has been okay this morning but maybe more importantly it's just been a, a combination of a this is by no means a scientific experiment it's an opinion based on what has gone on this morning so take from it what you will um, but yeah without doubt there's some uh, Definitely some credibility in this idea of shortening down, choking down, whatever you want to call it. Definitely age control every, we've said it a million times before. Betico Golf Club, lovely this morning, a little bit overcast as we finish the video. We're probably going to pop into town, there's a place that do some incredibly good pizzas and uh, that'll finish off our day and then a drive back home. A little different episode this week, hope you enjoyed it and uh, no doubt next time I see you, that woolly hat, thermals, waterproofs, they're not going to be too far away.